Welcome back, you guys. It is Corey Kanda McCoy back with another Mask in Monday. And today I have another Yes to mask. This is it. This is a carrot, carrot, kale, carrot and kale mask. And I had my eyes on it for a while, so I decided decide to grab this. Um, I also grabbed another mask. Oh, let me grab it. Um, which is the uh, Energizing Coffee Mask. But today I am going to be dipping into this one. So, you, you guys, I think I'm just going to do another update for this um, Mask of Monday. Um, where do I start? I was at work and you guys remember the video where I told you the woman called the woman called the woman called the woman said my foundation was great she came back you guys so I was at work helping I guess oh you got before I get into the story the story time and updates um so about this mask this mask is supposed to help with skin that has just been work to its limit so if you're like partying or if you're around a lot of toxins this is supposed to like rejuvenate your skin and just bring out the glow and get it looking healthy um i'm tired i had a pretty intense week i've been like covering some stores and yeah the holidays just got your girl all over the place so i thought this would be a cool mask to try on my channel um one of my subscribers did request a glowing skin regimen, so this does give the skin a glow. So, yeah, um, it has some vitamin A and C and E, so great antioxidants. It is 100% vegan, and what else? It is made without parabens, silicones, and SLS. I don't know what that is, but... Um, I have to research that and get back to you guys. Okay. And yeah, it's a single mask. So you don't have to be committed to a full container, um, which is the upside. The downside is if you did want more of this, you would just have to keep getting this. But I think in Target, they have a fuller size powder that you can mix with um, ingredient of your choice. But I'm dipping into this one because we're just trying this out so you guys can see if this is something for you that you guys would like to use. Excuse how I look, you guys. This is when I'm unwinding. I This is what I look like. I did take my yarn locks out. My hair is twisted up. You guys will see that um, soon, but let's get into this. <laughs> All right, backwards. Um, so yeah, the lady came back. She came back to Target, you guys, and I was in the middle of a guest con consultation and she just came up smiling. And I'm like, because it didn't register at first that this was that same lady, but I was like looking at her more and I said, oh, this was that bitch. Oh, like, <laughs> I didn't say that. This is... <laughs> In my head, this is what I said. I was like, oh, well, she about to, she was looking like she wanted to, she wanted to let me know about myself. Like she was looking like, is this foundation looking off? Cause I'm about to clown you in front of people. Okay, so this mask has like a slight coral hue. So this is what the mask looks like. It smells not the cutest, but hey, <laughs> we going in, we going in deep. But yeah, she was looking to see if my foundation was on point. And I was like, you're not about to do me today, lady, because I perfected it for your ass. Oh, yes. I perfect. No, I didn't perfect it for her, but I had to get myself right. I had to get it right, get it tight. Um, so I had two other guests who I was like helping and... I was just like, this could go wrong. Like, I feel like if this lady starts picking apart my makeup, it would just not be good with these two other guests. Because these two, well, one of the two of the guests, 
She was very opinionated too, so I just felt like they were gonna gang up on me in that aisle. But she was like, okay, she was like, oh, it's looking good. And I'm like, like I asked your opinion and I couldn't walk away. Like I planned to do the last time. I was like, if she came back, I'm just gonna walk away. But I couldn't do it because I had two other guys I was hoping. So I had to just stay there and deal with whatever she was about to, to bring. Um, <laughs> and then she wanted me to help her with some skincare. And I said, she ain't serious. She wanted to do, <laughs> she wanted to do like a mist for her skin. So I started showing her some mist. And she wanted a small size cause I was showing her like theirs, you know, I don't have time to be like petty over small stuff, small issues. I'm like, okay, you did me the first time. You came for my makeup, but you know, I'm still gonna do my job, you know. I'm very forgiving. I really didn't want to help her, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it, because I'm bigger than that. I'm bigger. This one's probably miserable. So I'm gonna help her. But yeah, so I was helping her with some options, but then I got busy. Um with somebody else it was like a busy day that day um so i ended up <laughs> kind of just walking away from that consultation and then she ended up leaving because she wasn't serious but or maybe she went back and got what i recommended i don't know but it seemed like she wasn't really trying to get nothing to me that's what it looked like so i was like hey what it is what it is but i was like i saw her and i was like damn I really don't want to see her face. <laughs> what else has been going on? Um, so I've also had this ex. Well, can I call him the ex? We have like a friends with benefits thing going on, but I'm going to call him the ex. Um, and this dude... He just would not give up. Like we had broke, I broke things off with him um, around, I think it was March of this year. Um, I decided to call it quits because I was like, this is not beneficial to me. This is not something I want. Like this is just fun. Okay, like you my friend, but I don't see this turning into anything serious. Like we tried it, it didn't work. Like he doesn't listen, he doesn't pay, it. he just not the type of guy that I want. Like whenever he doesn't get his way, he acts like a little boy. Like I just, I got time to be dealing with no dusties. <laughs> so I let it go, but I let it go, but he didn't get it. He was like, no, in his mind, he was like, no. It's not over. Like, he was calling me, like, sometimes he would call me, like, three times a day, sometimes once. Um, he was, like, consistent. Well, not, it wasn't on schedule, but he was not giving up. Like, he was still hitting me up. Like, I would not answer the phone. Um, <laughs> wasn't giving no type of action. And the boy was still calling. But just recently, he's given up. And I'm not used to that. I'm just, I mean, <laughs> I didn't want him, but I I just know he's okay if he's calling me. Like I'm like, okay, he crazy, but he's okay. Like he's doing he's doing fine because he he bothered me. He ain't he ain't up to nothing. He ain't found nobody. But Lately, he hasn't been calling. And that's got me a little worried. I'm like, is he okay? Like, because <laughs> he was putting in a strong fight to get this back. He was, he was not giving up. But I had to have like a mini pep talk, a re pep talk with myself and be like, Corey, that wasn't, that's not for you. Like, just believe that he is taken care of. He's okay. This is your out. Like you finally get, um, you finally get to be through with this. It's, it's done. Like move on, move on, like let it go. 
I am guilty of, like, I'd be given it. <laughs> I was like, oh, let me, I'm, I care too much. I don't know why I care, but I don't know, like, that's just who I am as a person. Like, I never want to see bad things happen to people. Even if you've done me wrong, I would never want to see anything bad happen to you because I believe there's some good in everybody. Even, I don't know, that. That's a difficult subject, but I just, I just don't like to see bad things happen to people. Like, if you've done me wrong, I'll let you go, but I would never wish any harm. Hmm. Let me think about that. For the most part, <laughs> once I get over the bad feelings, I... Do not want <laughs> anything bad to happen to people. You guys get me. You know, when somebody does you wrong, yeah, you be having a plan for that ass. But I'm growing, so I can let go my separate way with people and wish them the best. Look, I don't have time to be exerting that type of energy into people like bad feelings and stuff that takes more energy to wish you harm and pray for people's downfalls like it's just energy I don't like to hold on to but I'm hoping everything's okay because I really got to stick to my guns on this one I can't be going back into that like toxic type of situation like it's not even what I want, so I got to let him go. And then tonight I was coming from work and okay, so I have to be, I'm on public transportation because I don't have a vehicle. Um, so I'm coming from Glendale and I'm on the bus and I sit in the back because I don't know, I just like to sit above so I can just see things. But you have <laughs> you have some people sitting in the back. It's just regular smuggler people. Look like they might be homeless. Not like I don't know, they don't look really bad, but you know, you could just tell that it might be that type of situation. So there's um a guy and then a woman um she looked a little manly but yeah you have them and then there was another guy sitting in the corner he was asleep he was knocked out and then there was another guy in the other corner and so i sit like in the center of the back and i smell some pee <laughs> now the night before last night i had a dream that i was in the bathroom using using a public restroom my hair had got there was like pee everywhere my pee, my hair had got hit with the pee and I was so pissed so I don't know if this dream manifested itself as far as just the smell of pee was really strong on this bus and I'm like damn who is it like I was really thinking it was the guy on the side of me like I thought it was him and I'm like looking I'm looking at him and then I'm looking at this guy because I'm like do you know who it smelled like pee on this bus <laughs> but I was just like I was listening to my music and playing it cool and I don't know it was like the smell was disrespectful I don't I know people can't help it it's their situations but it was just I thought I wasn't going to make it. Like, that smell was really strong. It was a really strong pea smell. So, I was just trying to keep it together. I was like, okay. Hurry up and get me to my next, des to my destination so I can breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Comfortably. <laughs> so, I'm back there. And then, um, the lady, the lady, she, she's sitting ahead of me she changes to a little closer this lady's getting closer and closer to me i said okay maybe she want to sit somewhere open i don't know and then she moves her seat and she tells me she was like oh you're beautiful i was like oh thank you you know thank you and then i was laughing because i'm like what is she trying to pull like what's going on here 
Um, and then I said, maybe I should look a little crazy so these people don't mess with me. So, you know, I laughed to myself a little bit, you know. <laughs> and then um, the guy moves, the guy in the other corner, he ends up getting off the bus. And then she moves closer to me. Now, I have vid video footage, which I'm going to put in the middle of this. So while this is drying, I'm going to put the footage in so you guys can see how close she was to me. But as she's moving to the seat, the bus is moving kind of, so she falls on me and it was her smelling like pee. I said, oh! <laughs> it was her the whole time. She had me thinking it was other people. I was like... <laughs> I said, oh, and she fell on me. I felt like my dream was happening. I said, oh, my God. I can see into the future. I'm like, what's that um, show? I forgot what the name of the show with Raven Simone, where she could see things before they happen. But I said, oh, damn. And she gets closer. And then before she was like, oh, um, where are you going? I was like, oh, downtown. Because I'm like, look, lady. Because... I didn't tell her exactly. I was like, I just need to get downtown. And she was like, oh, I'm going downtown too. I said, oh, not with me. But um, when she changes the seat, she was like, oh, so why are you going downtown? And I was like, bitch, because I need to get downtown. Why are you all up in my business? But I didn't say that. That was a thought in my head. Um, I said, like, oh, I just need to get my to my next, um, my next ride, like downtown. Um, and then I, I was like, okay, waiting for my stop to arrive. But she was so close to me. I said, look, lady, I don't play for this thing. I don't play, I don't play that game, okay? I'm not going to the streets with you because I don't think she at home. <laughs> you guys, my life is wild, but... I'm just so glad glad that I'm protected. God has me protected and nothing super crazy. Like I've had a, a few run-ins, but nothing super crazy has happened. But I feel like, man, don't let these people try to pull nothing. Cause I don't have a weapon yet. I'm thinking maybe I should get a knife. Everybody's saying pepper spray or taser. But I'm like, I need to let people know, okay. No. Well, I got in my eyebrows, but you know what? I do my eyebrows, so let's just get these eyebrows and just go get the mask in your eyebrows, you guys, because oil's getting trapped up in there. Oh, no eyebrows. <laughs> you guys, I'm delirious. It is a little light, so yeah. I'm going to sleep after this, but I'm just going to get those eyebrows because sometimes I get a little pimple in there. This kid. Okay, so this mask is done. I was able to put a nice coat on here. Yeah, you guys, I think I'm going to hit you guys with another one because I was supposed to do a mask last week, but because I had to wash my hair, I just neglected last week's mask and chat, but I think I'm going to hit y'all with another one. I'm going to let this dry, and I will get back to you guys. Um for the second portion of this video. Stay tuned. see that did you see that mess <laughs> that I was dealing with <laughs> I'm I just had to give you guys a little peek at just some of the shenanigans that I go through and I was like man I really hope she doesn't catch me filming her because I need to show people what I go through like with the public like because I feel I don't know like if you guys believe me the stories I tell, but 
it be getting real. Um, so yes, I'm back. Um, my face is cleansed. Um, yes, I took the mask off. Um, I had it on for about 40 minutes. Um, I just got caught up watching Netflix, being on social media, but I left it on longer than it was recommended they said to leave on for 15 minutes so if you are a person who does not like to wait a long time 15 minutes was the time um i did it longer i would definitely recommend this mask for all skin types but i think it's yeah i would say all skin types everybody needs a little you know everybody needs a little you know free start refresher and i definitely think it's a great mask to use for the cooler seasons where everybody's getting a little drier or if you like go a little hard with if you're oily combo and you go a little hard with um detoxifying it's a great mask to cocktail with a charcoal mask or um the amazonian something like just deep cleansing it's a great mask to follow up with or use alone um it did when I was rinsing it off. It was really smooth. It felt like a really smooth serum as I was rinsing it off. My skin felt really smooth and clean. Um, I did use what do I use? Um, I exfoliated with um the Shea Moisture Bamboo Charcoal Scrub. So I used this afterwards just to um take off some dead skin, and then I used. The Cetaphil cleanser, foam cleanser. Now that did dry me out a little bit, but I just wanted to do a thorough cleanse afterwards. I am now going to follow up with toner. So I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Bamboo Charcoal Detoxifying Toner. And my fave, my new favorite toner, which is the Thayer's Witch Hazel and Scented and Aloe Vera Formula. Um... I'm just, I'm trying to get rid of this. I really was, I'm not a fan of this because it makes my face sticky. Um, but I'm going to use it because I don't want to waste it. Um, it really, the toner really doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't amaze me. Now the Thayer's, I'm telling you, I use this toner and it just keeps my skin right, like, um, I don't get as many breakouts since I've been using this. I've been beginning my crazy breakouts because I usually get a pimple like here. Like as you can see, like I'll get them in this region. Um, or do I get them on my forehead? Not really, but it's like this area is where I get them. So I just, I've been using it and my skin has been, it's been acting right. Um, but yeah, definitely for those of you who want to glow, I would recommend that mask and using a glowy exfoliator. So maybe some olive oil mixed with your favorite exfoliator. If you want to really glow, glow, I'm going to try some things for you guys, but yeah, our hydrating exfoliator, something more smoothing instead of, um, super mattifying. So Maybe like a vino. Um, who else makes a good? A cure has a good exfoliator that won't dry you out. Okay, I think we are good. I just want to make sure. Okay, so my face is toned, and I am going to just follow up with an oil. So oils are a great way to give your skin a healthy look. Um, this is argan and rose hip um i've been going between this one and blue tansy i do have some jojoba oil that i want to break into but i'm just trying to finish this off first so yeah i'm just going to use that as a finishing touch i didn't want to do a sheet mask but i'm tired i want to go to bed um yeah so i won't be doing that but i think i may come back to you guys real soon with another mask and chat like to talk about um shows that i've been watching things that i've been doing like activities for you guys to do for this cooler season you guys i've been doing 
I'm a little all over the place. Like I love to read. I love a good movie. I love a good show. So um, I just finished the book Pimp by Iceberg Slim. And then I, my cousin was recommending um, Shameless, the show. So I just started that. And I think I'll talk a little bit more about that in my next video using the oil. So this is going to make my skin look really healthy. As you can see, bam, glowing. And I just did one little drop full, but I'm going to, I'm going to get really generous. I'm going to do one more. So all you need a drop or two, but I did more than a drop or two. Cause when I wake up, I want my skin to be really smooth. But yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for those of you who have been tuning in and following me on my journey. I appreciate you guys. Again, I think I want to do a giveaway for you guys. There's some good things in store, but yes, yeah, stay tuned for my next video. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. Yeah, have an amazing week, you guys, and I will see you next time for my next video. Stay tuned.